guys, today I want to present you with the top 10 greatest facts of the RMS Titanic. You may have heard of it, it's right in the description box below. Just look where my thumb is pointing. There. Okay, just find it in the description box. Bye. Let's see it now. Fact number one. It was a British ocean liner at the 20th century of 1912. And it was a luxurious ship that actually crashed in an iceberg that people believe and sank to the bottom of North Atlantic Oceans. And by very confident of people, and it can actually still stay afloat of the four and the five watertight compartments still flooded. Fun fact number one, let's see fun fact number two. So fun fact number two is, if you know the Titanic crashed in the iceberg, do you believe it? Maybe that answer is a no. Yeah, some people believe it's a fire. The fire b method is actually true. The fire has been burning in the Titanic's hall for about three weeks. And then boom, exploded when it crashed the iceberg. And when it was, some people even believe it's a submarine that torpedoed the Titanic or something that caused it to sink. This is what some people believe. I'll show you. <laughs> That's maybe some people believe. You may have heard the fire method before. If you want to learn more, just click the description box, or you could just find it on the bright side. Bright side of life! Here it is. Find it on the internet if you want to. So, let's go to fact number one, two, three. Let's go. So, some people... Oh, sorry. So, some people believe when the, t the time can... But, actually, that was not the question. You know the time when the Titanic left the Southampton docks? Uh, no? Oh, that's a yes. Hmm. There must be a no. So, if you don't know, it's on April 10th, 1912. If you want to know when it crashed the iceberg, I'll explain while showing you the video. Let's see it now. The Titanic left the docks on April 10th, and it crashed the iceberg on April 15th. You may have seen the writing Olympic in there. Well, my Titanic's broken, so I just used the Olympic. You may notice I'm a little bit different. It's the back room. Over there is noisy. You want to see it? Okay, fine. Let's see it. It's noisy. That's why I left here. So, let's see fun fact number four. The fourth fact is... So, the fourth fun fact is... When did the... Have you seen the movie Britannic before? Make that a no then. I know the Britannic actually. It's a hospital ship. But at the past, it's... It's actually a part of World War I when it started. And BOOM! Sank. Here's how it sank. That's just an example. Let's see it after the noise gets out. We're gonna see you in about... 3 seconds. Let's go. Guys, like I promised you earlier, we're back at 3 seconds. And now I'll demonstrate the Britannic to you. Now! I didn't check.
it is. The demonstration of the Britannic. You may like it. Let's see that again. If you wanna, you can just, you know, rewind it. Okay, let's do that now. If you wanna, I'll give you time. Time has passed. Now, let's go to fun fact. Five? Was it three or four before? I remember it was four. So, let's go to fun fact. Five. Oh. Well, I can't help it. I have baby baby. Okay, fun fact number five. Okay, let's see the demonstration first. Let's go. The demonstration where the RMS Olympic was the voice of the trios of the Titanic and the uh, Britannic launch. Mm. Sorry. It crashed with the HMS Hulk but survived until it got repaired at the White Star Line in Belfast, Ireland. And also, when it was already repaired with the Titanic, when it was still constructed, the Olympic went off and crashed with the H, with the Nantucket lightship, and then sank to the bottom of the ocean. I don't know how it sank, so just go to YouTube and find out how it works. So that's five fun facts. Okay, that's the five fun facts. Now, let's go to the sixth fun fact. The sixth fun fact is what maybe you have heard about Rose and Jack on the Titanic. Jack died and Rose survived. Okay. Mm. Okay. Ah. But there's also a story of the same. Ya, cus ini kamar kuat ini, lo gak diberesin, cus. Cus. Aduh. Oke, so. There's also another story, but it's not like this. Vahnak, Vahnak, and more N. Let me. Dubu dubu. Yang mana kak? Let me. Dubu dubu. Oh. Dikira tu apa? So, when Vahnak jumped into the water with his friend more N, when the Titanic broke into two, it separated them. I don't know about more N, but I do know Vahnak. Sorry, I call him Vahnak, but many people maybe call him Vahnak. Well, how you might spell it. So, then, Vaknak was rescued by a lifeboat and taken to the Carpathia. I don't know about Morin, but I believe he died. Like the story of Jack and Rose. And why is the phone so... I can't why. Hey! Somebody rescued my phone! Help! Rescue my phone! Hey, okay, that's fun fact number six. Fun fact! Fun fact number seven. Fun fact number seven is pretty interesting. Here's fun fact number seven. 
Fun fact, the seven is, please I'll explain to you something. Have you heard about the Siemens rule when the captain stayed to, the captain is the last person to leave the tie, to leave a ship? <clears throat> But in the Titanic, it was very, very, very different. Whew. On the RMS, everything was completely, completely different. Everything was different. The captain didn't leave the ship last. Instead, something creepy happened. Do you know what's that creepy thing? Do you know what's that creepy thing? He died on the Titanic. It's not like he didn't want to go on a lifeboat or something. <clears throat> Instead, he actually went down with the Titanic. Just like other passengers, they died in the North Atlantic waters and didn't get lifeboats. The Titanic just went down with no reason because it just got burned fire. The captain just went down with the Titanic. That's fun fact number seven. Fun fact number eight. I can't believe I'm doing no act. Okay, fun fact number eight. Let's see the demonstration, please. Why is everybody pausing? Hey, phone! Gosh, maybe we should see make it like part two. It's fun fact number seven, right? Right? Okay. We're gonna see part number seven and fun fact seven and part two. I have homework to do. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye.